boy. Nice. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're doing a little bit of quail hunting with our German wire hairs, okay? We got a female out here first. This is Bill. Beautiful Bell. dog. Absolutely beautiful. This sucker is also beautiful. I'll eat it later. Also, in this video, we're going to be showing you exactly how these dogs hunt, point, retrieve, and hopefully how we shoot the bird. That bird is gone. So today we're training some dogs out here running our German wire hair pointers. This is Bell right here. We've already put the birds out. We put three birds out. We're hunting bobwhite quail, and it's just tuning up the tuning up the dogs. I like to run them occasionally, just to uh, work on a few things. But um, just it's all about the dog. So uh, these German wire hair pointers are very very versatile. Uh, good for everything upland, waterfowl. You can train them to do about anything. She's very. She's only uh, seven years old, and she is. Uh, very fired up as you can tell. Come here, Belle. Here, heel. Here, heel. So we're fixing to turn her collar on. Heel. This is a beeper collar. As long as she's moving, the collar won't make a noise, but whenever she goes on a point and gets still, it'll start beeping. So I'm going to give her her command to hunt him up. Let's go. There she goes. There she goes. Likes to hunt on the downside. Bell, what are you doing? No, something. Yeah. Well, it's in there. Uh oh. I think she's on point, boy. She must be locked down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Can't see her at all. Uh, she's she's down in there. Everybody ready? She's locked down. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, look at the feathers. Dead, dead, dead right here. Dead. Dipper, 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 dipper. Hold, hold, here, hold, 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 hold. Give, nice. give this girl. Hey, look, this is a Tennessee red. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's what you call a Tennessee red quail right here. Uh, just another variety of uh, Bob White, I think. But uh, it's just a little bronze and color instead of the traditional brown of the Bob White Club. Oh, that's nice. Oh. That's nice. Good girl. Good girl, Bill. got up and flew straight towards John and Blair so I couldn't shoot that one. That's something you always got to be mindful of when you're quail hunting. When the bird gets up, flies to the other people, don't shoot it. You could shoot somebody. But uh, the dog did really good on that one as you could tell. She's after it right now. She may be on it or she may she may have caught it. I don't know. We still got another bird or two for this dog and then we're going to pull out the other dog. <laughs> Bell. Oh, yeah. Bell got him. Good girl, Bell. Here. Good girl, here. Dead, dead. Bring it here. Here. Hold, 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 Another tip, when they get up and they're about that high off the ground, right in front of the dog's nose, you don't want to shoot them in either because you yeah. can shoot the dog in the back of the head. Mm. 
All right, y'all, so Belle has done great. She's found all three birds. She's pointed them helter point. Uh, unfortunately, one time the bird didn't get good separation. Another time the bird flew back towards me and the cameraman. And so uh, Belle's done great. Uh, we had thought we had a bird fly over here. Well, we know it flew over here. We're not for sure exactly where it went. Meg kept on going through the neighbor's property over there. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go put a couple more birds out, three more birds out for Hammer our male and let him work a little bit. So uh, we will catch you back here in just a few minutes. Come on, girl. Let's go, babe. All right, so this is Hammer. He's our Whoa. male. He's only two and a half years old. He's not nearly as steady as Belle. You can see Belle, she'd go on point and she'd stay there till we got there. We're still working on that with Hammer. He's getting a lot better. So that's what this is all about. It's just trying to steady up your dogs. So you need a check cord. This is about 30 feet long. A check cord right here. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. You're gonna take it. You're gonna go make a loop just like this. Go under it. So it looks like that. Okay, then you hook this into his collar and all this is it just uh goes around this flank right here and so it tightens this up back here whenever he goes on to point and we get up there it keeps him from breaking i'm gonna give him his signal which the famous words are hunt him up there we go all right we'll see what happens now usually when they have that check cord they don't hunt as far away as they do if they don't have a check cord but we'll see what happens right here Good boy. Whoa. Good boy. Whoa. 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 Whoa